Hey everybody, Josh from Populi here. In Populi, you can design your own application or multiple application forms and then embed them on your site. That means that an applicant can start an application on your site and then when they submit it, it'll come through into Populi. It can be associated with their profile. That whole process is great, but it's not what we're here to talk about today. We're just gonna focus on the design aspect. What is that? The smell of delicious tiny little loaves of bread? Because we're talking rolls. In order to design applications, you'll need the admissions admin role. We'll hop over to admissions and then settings, and then we'll land on the application forms tab right here. We could go into any of these already existing application forms and change them whatever we need to do there, but we're gonna go over here to the right and click add an application form. We're gonna call this example, and then we'll click save. Now we're in the actual application. You can see over here that we have options for beginning to design the application form, but I wanna point out a couple of things over on the right before we get started here under settings. First, we've got this option for show online. If we click that, you'll see that we can set it to yes or no. If we set it to yes, it doesn't necessarily mean that this application will automatically somehow be online somewhere. If you have already embedded um, your full list of applications on your website, then choosing yes would make that happen, but if you haven't done that and you're just starting out here, Show Online doesn't do that at all. All it does is it eventually gives you the ability to embed this application online. The other field we'll look at here is the programs setting. You're able to choose which program a given application is associated with. So if you have an undergraduate application that's different then your graduate application, you're able to choose which of those programs this application is pointed at. We can also add multiple programs to a given application so that if the same application serves multiple programs, students can then choose which of those programs they're going to be pursuing. Okay, let's look at actually designing the application proper. If you look over here, you can see we're on the design tab. Then we have these options here for the kinds of elements we can add to the application. In particular, I wanna draw your attention first to adding headings and adding text. These are both fields that we can add in here to help applicants find their way through the application. Headings obviously would typically mark out sections and then text would include instructions. Okay, now that we've added those elements, let's real quick just hop over to preview and we can see how this will actually look. So that's what the preview there does, is it just gives us an idea of how this will look to students. We'll go back to design. If for some reason you want to change the order of these fields, you can click on the little arrow icon there and then do that. If you need to edit anything, you have that option right there with the pencil icon. We can delete fields with the trash can. Then if we click on that little plus sign there, we can add fields below, import fields, add headings, and so on to build out this application. We're gonna be focusing on adding a field, but it's good to know what importing a field does. Once you've added other fields on applications, you're able to just search for a given field here and then immediately pull that in so you don't have to build that from scratch. We're not worried about that right now. We're just gonna go ahead and click add field here. Obviously we have to give this field a name and then we also have the option to give it a description. The description would usually be field specific instructions Obviously we have those general instructions up above there as text fields, but then within this field on the description, we could add more specific instructions. The first big thing that we're gonna go over 
as we work through adding fields here is this question linked to an existing field? Yes or no? This is an important one to think through as you're setting things up because it can potentially be a huge time saver. When you choose to link a particular piece of information here on the application to an existing field, it means that as you're working through an application and you click accept, you're going to seamlessly move that information from the application over to that applicant's profile. So let's fly by what that looks like when you have one of those linked fields. Basically what'll happen is an applicant inputs information there that's saved and stored on the application. And then as any of your admission staff are working through that application, they will be accepting or rejecting any fields. If they accept a linked field, that data moves directly from the application over to the applicant's profile. And it's now, instead of simply being on the application, over on their profile in a particular field there. So if we choose link to an existing field, we set that to yes. And then we go into our field options here and choose birth date. That means that whenever an applicant adds their birth date in and then that's accepted, you will be storing their birth date on their profile. Now, the trick is that this field has to already exist for you to be able to do this. You can see here that we have all kinds of built-in fields. Some of these are probably also just on this instance, custom fields that have been created. So if there's a field that isn't already built into Populi, you can create custom fields and then you'll be able to link those. But of course that has to be done before you're setting up your application fields here. Because once you've chosen to link a field or not link a field, that's not an editable attribute of a particular field on an application. So you can't choose link to existing field is no, and then later decide actually, no, I want to link that to an existing field. You won't be able to change that after the field has been created. Your option then will be to create a duplicate field, set it to yes for um, link to an existing field, and then delete your old field. Again, this is worth thinking about beforehand. So setting up any custom fields that you wanna use to collect data so that you don't have to move it by hand makes a lot of sense. Figuring that out, spending a little time doing that before you set up your application means that you can save yourself a lot of extra work down the road. Second big thing here, and it's kind of related, if we turn off the link to an existing field here, we'll go back to answer types. We're gonna look at choose from a list. And if we look at our options there, we have some built-in choose from a list options. We can choose from degrees or specializations. That will mean that you're looking at your degrees that are actually set up on your instance of Populi and then the specializations under those. And those fields are aware of each other. So obviously degrees exist in a hierarchy with specializations. So if an applicant chooses a degree, then we will only display the specializations that are appropriate for that degree. And it's also worth mentioning that this is further constrained by the program that's set on the application. So you have the program, then once that program is selected, you'll only have degrees within that program, and then you'll only have specializations within that degree once that's selected. Down the road, once you've reviewed an applicant's work and you're deciding to accept them as a student, you'll be able to make the choice to import course of study. Importing course of study means that you're gonna import their degree and a specialization if that's applicable. So instead of having to flip back and forth between their application and their profile, if you import that course of study, it will pull in the degree that they've chosen specialization that they've chosen on their application and populate it on their profile. So the other built-in choose from a list fields that we have are race, ethnicity, 
state, province, and then country. So you don't have to build these on your own. Once an applicant fills those out, they'll be added to their profile and preserved there. One last note there, even though you can move that data across, it's not like the application is going to disappear. The information that you've collected on the application will remain there. So you can choose which things you really need to have access to on the student's profile versus things that you might just have to go back and check on the application at some future point. Things like, you know, address, uh, maybe if you've collected their license plate or something like that um, on an application or maybe um, allergies or something. Something like that that you want to have readily available on their profile you would choose to link and then other things that are not as pressing you could leave on their application. Another important setting on an application field to talk about is is this field required? That can be set to yes or no. If it is set to yes, an applicant has to click something, enter something, whatever, in order to be able to submit their application once they're all done. Okay, we've looked at some particular answer types, but let's go ahead and just overview the rest of the answer types here. We've got some obvious ones, text and number, Text there can be set to essay or short answer. So obviously you, you get a larger text field versus a smaller text field. Number can just be set to allow decimals or not, depending on what you're looking for. Choose from a list we've already seen, but you can also choose to create a custom list where you would just input the various options that you want there and then your applicants would be able to choose one of those options. Multiple answer works similarly. You would input your options, but then you can choose how many answers can be selected. So rather than just choosing one, you could have them choose three or four or however many you want. Obviously, there's an option to input a date. You can set yes or no questions. You can have them input their address here phone number, email address. Then additionally, we have file uploads. That just creates a place where students can click to choose a file from their computer or drag and drop. And that would be useful for documents or perhaps an image of some kind. If you're collecting maybe a copy of their identification or something like that. And then we're not gonna get too deep into the online reference today, but that is something that you're able to set up here. You can click over to online reference forms right here to set up a reference form. And then you just link that right here, choosing a specific reference form that you've already created. Let's hop out of this and have a look at a more complete example of an application form. This is one that's been created with various fields, sections, marked out, essay type answers, and then um, a personal reference. This is one of those online reference fields, various things there. You can see how that looks. And then let's also click preview to get an idea of how that looks without those edit options, delete options, and so on. That's how you design an application. Maybe you're gonna put your applicants through the ringer, make them work for it, but you don't have to work for it to join up with Populi right down below. Just subscribe to our channel and then click that notifications bell so you don't miss anything. You might as well give us a like. This has been fun, hasn't it? You'll find our social media down below in the description. Check us out there. I've been Josh for Populi. You've been great. Thanks for watching.